it's very important to know the intention behind your moves. You have to see who's involved in the decision and is it gonna make the situation better? No matter what decision you make, people are gonna critique your decisions. Every decision that's right to you is gonna be wrong to somebody, especially the people that are on the other end of the decision and they feel like they have a better decision. You just can't get too caught up in how other people are looking at you and, and your moves and your decisions because you'll never be able to stand on anything. You know how people give you advice? They give you life advice on what they feel like you should be doing. Sometimes you take that advice and sometimes you don't. The only time people actually take advice is when they never had a stance of their own to begin with. They weren't really strong in their stance on what they wanted to do. And that's why they were able, or that's why they were able to be influenced by somebody else's advice or opinion. Because they knew that that other decision that they was thinking about making, they, they weren't that confident about it. And the only way you have confidence is when you really know your intent and you know what you want. When you have that, you can't be manipulated. You can't be taken advantage of. And that's a very important element in this life is to protect yourself against manipulation. You know, it's different types of abuse and people definitely try to play on people's minds to get what they want. And you have to be able to peep these plays because we are part of a game and everybody's trying to play the game to put themselves in a better position. So again, know who you are, know your intention and rest well on that. Get the voices out of your head that's telling you that your move is wrong. Because like I said, no matter how good of a person you are, no matter how well thought out your decisions are, it doesn't fucking matter. There's always going to be somebody that can look at you and say, you made the wrong choice. But who are they to tell you about what you're doing in your life? Everybody has the right to make their own decision. And as long as you can look in the mirror and say, hey, you made the right decision. You're making a good decision and, and you know why you're making the, the decision you're making. And fuck what anybody got to say about it. If you can't look at yourself and say that, then maybe you ain't making the right decision. Or you just being a little too weak. You gotta stop being weak, man. You can't be weak out here. You can't be scared, you can't be weak. You can't be afraid of people's opinions. Anybody's opinion, I don't care who it is. Because a lot of times we, we are affected by the people closest to us. We want the people closest to us to have a good opinion of us. But no, it's literally, it has to be fuck what anybody thinks. Anybody. You have to live with you. You have to go to sleep with yourself at night. You got to look yourself in the mirror every day and be happy with you. So at no point in this life do you make decisions for other people. You have to make the decision that is on your heart. You got to live with your decisions. You got to fucking be okay when you get to the end of your life. You can't have regrets. So would you rather go through your life making decisions so that people like you, so that people ain't looking at you a certain type of way, and then you get to the end of your life and you regret and you hate yourself because you never lived your life for you? Cause ain't nobody sitting on that deathbed with you. Ain't nobody, when, when death is facing you, them people that you were trying to please, they not there. You gotta face your death. You gotta accept, oh damn. I lived my life for other people and never did what the fuck I wanted to do. And why? Just to end up dying and never living the way you wanted to live? Fuck that, bro. Fuck getting caught up in other people's perception of what right and wrong is. What is right for you? What is right for you? Move in that. Move in that and I promise you, you will be okay through this life and you will live how the fuck you wanna live. And yeah, there's always consequences for every decision. Every decision has some form of consequence and sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice? I would much rather sacrifice while I'm moving on my true intent. And whatever consequence comes from that sacrifice, I can live with that because I made the decision I wanted to make. 
I'm not cool with the consequences that come from decisions that I really don't want to fucking be in or make. Because now I have to deal with the weight of the consequence and the weight of knowing that I really didn't do what I wanted to do. So I'm really not bringing the best out of myself. And if I'm not bringing the best out of myself, then those same people that want my energy are not going to get the energy that they want from me. Everybody wants something. Everybody wants something. But you got to want your own peace more than you want to show up for the people that want to get things from you. Those people are going to be okay. If you die today, those same people that claim they want and need your energy so much, they're going to have to figure it out without you. And trust me, when people have to figure some shit out, they will figure it out. So don't ever let somebody put so much weight on you to make you feel obligated to do certain stuff the way that they want you to do it. No, you show up the way you need to show up. You make the decision you need to fucking make so that you can be healthy and live the life that you need to live. Don't fucking make yourself sick for these people. Anybody who is okay with you being sick does not love you or care about you, and that should tell you, fuck them. Fuck you. <laughs> if you wanna encourage me to make a decision that's gonna make me sick, then you don't care about me. Stop worrying about other people and just make sure you're okay with you and your decisions, and you'll be all right.